All right, so June 15th will be our first spraying of the year for herbicide uh, water, trying to control the uh, water mill population. And uh, let y'all see how it looks. You can see that there's a, a haze over the water because of it. Over there, it's all clear. We've had some wind today, it's pushed it up. It's gonna be a good day to, to spray. And um, fish are doing fine. You can see them swimming around there. This is a good thing the where it's at right now, considering that last year at this time, it was probably about an inch thick. It's very manageable. Uh, that's the reason why we've waited so late to do any spraying uh, this year and it's gotten a lot better with the um, with the uh, management process that we've been doing so I'm gonna go ahead and get get it sprayed I've got my sprayer here I've got my little trolling motor I'm gonna troll around in the little John boat and um, we're trying out a different dequat this time so not sure if it's gonna work but we'll um, we'll see see how it goes all right so got the spraying done it was um it was work it was hot out there uh it's probably a good 95 degrees out here right now yeah it, as you can see right there there's a pretty good amount of it spread out um when it, the wind was blowing a little bit more and you could see it was kind of stacking up a little bit but there's um i don't know if this is all the water mill, I think it might be mixed with some pollen or some kind of algae or something that's on the surface, but hopefully um, we will check it in a couple days and see if, um, if there's anything dying. So uh, let's hope that, uh, that this stuff will work better than the, uh, the last stuff. Although, um, it is doing, the pond is doing a lot better. So uh, maybe the stuff we used last year was, was actually doing better. But uh, ho we're hoping that this will be even stronger where we don't have to do as many sprayings per, uh, per year and um, only every couple of months and instead of every month. So we'll see. So it looks like our frog that we had in the pond for several years got caught slipping and um, found his bones on the side over here. He was, uh, he had pretty much taken over. And so now some of the smaller frogs might be able to um, have a little bit more freedom. So I checked the pond a few days after the spraying and it didn't look like anything uh, had changed at all. So I was thinking that the Dequat wasn't even going to work. But then... All right, so this is two weeks after the spring, and this is the most that I've seen so far as far as, um, as, far as the effects of the, the Dequat. Um, you can see right there, I guess it, this was that algae that was green floating around, um, and it looks like it's dying or it looks like it's dead. It's been uh, sitting on the surface for probably a good four or five days like this. So um, we've got a lot of wind today, so you can see that there's a lot of, a lot of the pond that's clear. And, um, and a lot of, see, this is all that dead stuff. I don't know if I can get a close up of what it looks like. It, it just looks like a lot of, um, dead cells if that makes any sense it looks like almost like skin cells that are dead like dry like dead skin and um i would definitely say that the uh, dequat did some work and uh, did a little bit of fishing and it hasn't affected the fish at all so um fish are still still doing well
All right, so I mentioned earlier that we're trying something new. This is what we're using. It's Total Solutions Eliminator Dequat. Uh, the only thing that I wasn't quite sure about is the um, is the instructions because it it looks like the um, looks like the active ingredient is a lot weaker than the the quat that we've used before. This has one point eight five percent the quad and i think the uh one we've had before was like 30 38 39 percent so hey guys if you found this video helpful or useful go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and even the bell notification that way you can be notified for my future videos